Hiya, I'm going to show you a quick plastic canvas tutorial. There, this is the plastic canvas. It's what you can use for cross stitch and things. It's a lot thicker than the normal thing you'd use for cross stitching. And it's obviously made of plastic. This is a smaller version, it's got smaller holes. Now, this one is a 10 count and the larger one is a 7 count. All that means is that the smaller one obviously has 10 stitches for every inch and the larger one have 7 inches, that's what the count means. So the smaller the count number, the larger the stitches will be. Now for this you can use this kind of yarn, um, but for the larger holes you can use the normal wool. And so for the design I'm just going to take a hammer bead design that i done before. I put quite a few of them in these books, so I'm just going to use one of those. And I'll just make this one. It's a simple one from the Zelda games. And yeah, it's, it's just really simple. If you if you can do cross stitch already, and uh, all you have to do is just follow the hammer bead pattern. You can get proper cross stitch patterns, but the hammer bead ones are slightly more simple if you only just get started using it. Okay, so start off with obviously a bit of the plastic canvas, I only need a small bit. And then you want to get some of the thread on the needle. And I'm just going to get the pattern because I shut the book away. <laughs> you just have to follow it like you would have in beads. So I, I usually do start off with one colour and just do all the stitches that are in that colour. Then I move into onto the next colour. Okay, so to start off, you go f you always start from the back. And sorry, just zoom in a bit there. Sorry for the shaky camera. Should have edited that bit out. <laughs> okay, so you start off from the back, you pull the thread through the front, and then you go to the hole that's opposite. So the thread's going in a diagonal line. Then you come up in the hole next to it, and then you cross over that diagonal line with another one, and this is, creates the cross stitch. And basically, you just do this stitch. For every block in the design, so instead of doing that using a hammer bead, use one cross stitch. Now for the bit at the back, you could have put a knot in it before you started, but if you don't want that bulge, and because it might look a bit messy, just hold it to one side, and then just carry on stitching. And then because you're stitching over it, it will hold it in place and it won't come loose. Okay, so like I say, just follow the design and. It's just basically as simple as that. And you can use these because obviously it's plastic that you're sewn onto. You can use this for badges and things and key rings. And they're not too flimsy. Okay, so just follow your design. And I think I've said that about four times already. <laughs> okay, so once you've finished a colour or you've run out of yarn, all you have to do is get your needle and put it underneath one of the, um, what are they called, the knots that you've already done, and then you pull it through, and you leave a little hoop, don't pull it all the way through, and get the needle, and put it through that hoop, and then just pull it, and as you pull it, the knot will get tight, that will hold it in place. And then you grab the needle again and go underneath some of the stitches, about two or three stitches. And then just pull that needle through and then that will hold the yarn in place. You don't want to just chop off the arm because the uh, knot will come undone. So then you can just trim off the arm, or thread I meant, sorry. And then just move on to the next colour or add the next bit of stitch. Thread. Okay, so once it's done and you've done all the colours, it will look something like this. Obviously, it will look completely different if you've done a different design. Now you can keep it as it is, colour, um, fill in the background with more thread, or you can cut around it. And next week's project, I'm going to show you how to make it into a box. So this is just a small one I've made. The one I'm making in the video is a lot larger. So yeah, have fun with it and show me what you make.